Blue Herrings is one of the most literate, one of the best scripts that we've ever had, as might be expected from Hugh Whitemore, the uh, author who's written a number of extraordinarily good plays. Uh, deeply intellectual plays, come to think of it. But the great conceit at the heart of Blue Herrings is the fact that despite it being one of the Midsummer Murders uh, brand, uh, it has no murders in it. There is a killing, but whether it's a murder is a moot question. Uh, the joke is, I think, that there is no murder in it. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Auntie Ellis. Oh, Tom, my dear. Oh, what a treat. The subject is... Um, euthanasia or mercy killing. Around that central core of gravity and seriousness, heavy import, uh, he's woven a wonderful tapestry of extraordinary characters, played, I may say, by extraordinary actors in the shape of um, uh, Debbie Finlay, who is seen nearly nude, uh, delivering some uh, discipline, I suppose, to another wonderful actor, Clive Wood, who shows every sign of liking it intensely. You think you know everything, but you don't. don't. It also has, in uh, Blue Herrings, some uh, older, more senior actresses, shall we say, and actors, uh, who were wonderful. There's one of them, uh, Phyllis Calvert, um, who extraordinarily beautiful. It was the last year of her life, as it turned out, and I was doing a shot with her, and I was walking along in this beautiful location in the garden, and I suddenly thought, this woman has acted with James Mason and Richard Burton and James Stewart, and here she is with little Johnny Nettles <laughs> walking along doing a scene with me. I was ever so proud. So what's it like here? Oh, the food's good, the room's comfortable, and the staff are very friendly. So you're quite happy? Oh, happy-ish. Like being back at school. Oh, I know they're all old, but they behave like naughty children. It was an extraordinary, beautiful, also oh, English performance. Delicate, refined, the antithesis of vulgar. It was beautiful to behold, and uh, is, is one of the, the glories of the episode. You should stop calling me Bill. Nobody calls me Bill. To my friends, I'm William. To my intimates, Willie. Everybody else calls me Mr. Smithers. Are you all right, Mrs. Bly? Bloody woman. The other glory of the episode was Nigel Davenport. Nigel, of course, is a wonderful old actor. He's got one eye over here, one eye there. And uh, we were sitting outside the, the set, having a break, fag break in his case. And he was all in plaster because of some awful accident that occurred to him. He was sitting there with his plaster like that, looking around. And this very pretty actress walked across in front of him and his little eyes went like that. And I turned to him, I said, you're still at it, aren't you? And he said, he said, he said, you'd take a ton of Viagra to get me going, he said, but it's all in the bloody head, he said. That's it. Wonderful, wonderful actor. I'm Tom Barnaby, Alice Bly's nephew. I know who you are. What's the matter? I was so sorry to hear about Yes. This. Yes. Thank you. Must have been a great shock. Yes. There was one actress in the, indeed, the, the lead character, as it turns out, in this particular episode, uh, Angela Down, who had to act grief at her mother's passing. It's beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. And of an intensity and an excellence which is quite unusual in a series like Midsummer Murders.